Hi gang, this is Mike G from Mr. GTV and MrMikeGonner.com Continuing your meditation and also delving into your colour therapy and energy training I'm going to say some very dynamic, powerful things here with no intention to offend but I'm a straight talker, I always have been I don't talk bullshit, I don't teach bullshit and I don't like bullshitters <laughs> so I don't come from an attitude of trying to dupe anybody and I won't ask anybody to do anything that I can't do so I teach from experience people just recently one particular person has said to me but it's a question that I'm asked many times well it's okay for you look at your life you've got a lovely house in Thailand a swimming pool we've seen it you've got a guest house you know you're living the dream yeah absolutely correct I'm living the dream because I dared to dream it and then I created it it was hard work and if you'd like to step into my shoes and put the effort in that I put in then you might get something similar to what I achieved if you want to follow that model or whatever model you want to follow but it takes effort the law of attraction doesn't just happen the law of attraction the word attraction is got the same etymology Latin root as action you've got to say these things the affirmations I'm sharing with you the mission statements but then you've got to take purposeful action if you don't take the action then you don't get the attraction and um, I've often found and I teach corporately that you know the more you do the more problems you'll have so if you want to have more success you've got to double your problem solving capability if you give up the first time you have a hurdle put in front of you you know you can jump over a hurdle round it or under it but you've got to get past the hurdle you've got to get over these obstacles which stand in the way of your health happiness and success in life and business which is my catch line and I've constantly got hurdles but I'm not going to be defeated because I'm a victim not a victim and I don't talk about my problems I could tell you we could change places and you could be my therapist I could tell you about my eye problems you've probably seen me quite often um, talking with a bloodshot eye I had a mini stroke um, I've got very uh, the integrity of my veins my vascular system um, has got a challenge and I'm constantly eating healthy and being healthy that's why I'm in Thailand in the sun to get the vitamin D and my spine problem didn't walk um, you know the, the, the people who look at my life and then make commentary or more truthfully judge are way off the mark but the reason I'm telling you that is because that's really important because although those judgments against me or about me I'm very used to and I give very direct answers and I don't suffer fools um, constantly you and me are in judgment what we're doing is we're looking for justification we're looking for confirmation confirmation justification that we're right we don't want to be wrong and we create a world that proves to us that we're right so I'm going to give a real extreme example now but it's the easiest way of explaining this to you and you'll find this fascinating hopefully so if you're a woman that thinks that all men are male chauvinist pigs <laughs> then if I open the door for you you go I don't need a man to open a door for me even if I'm doing it to be polite to be courteous and open a door for anybody young old male female I open a door for a sheep in Thailand to let it go through into the sheep's pen just the guy I am I have no attitude or opinion or judgment in doing that but quite often you might so if you're a male chauvinist pig or you think the men are if that's your feminist point of view 
then you'll judge me doing something that's quite neutral, but you'll judge it. But equally so, if you are quite old school and you think that that's very gentlemanly of me to do that, it's very kind, then you'll say thank you very much. Done the same thing, based on your position, your belief, you'll perceive it in a different way. Equally so, just to be fair to you women, if um, us men think that all women gossip too much, <laughs> are bad drivers, bad golfers, or whatever it is that you've got an opinion about, <laughs> then everything that a man with that attitude, or any person with that attitude sees, is evidence to prove they could see a woman doing a three-point turn perfectly or parking in one, reverse parking, brilliantly. And they'll have a blind spot to that, but the first time they see a woman hit a curb or do something, that's justification that their belief system, that women are bad drivers, or a woman could get a hole in one 20 times in their life, but the first time that she hits the golf ball into the bunker, Haha, I told you women are bad golfers. Do you understand what I'm talking about? And that's what we're doing all the time. Interesting that, isn't it? We create what's called a mental schitoma, which is a blind spot to anything that makes us wrong. We only see and we only pay attention and we're only alerted, it's called sensory acuity, to anything that proves that our belief system, our core values, are correct. Anything that goes against our belief system, we'll dismiss. Quite often we don't even see it. So when you're praying or asking the, the cosmos, God or your God, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, Muhammad, Abraham, Jesus, when you're praying to your deceased loved ones, as I do, and asking them to guide you, to help you. When you're actually getting the answers back, you're actually missing most of what I call signs and wonders in the world because you have already made a decision about something. So you're only gonna see anything that keeps you on the same track as where you were before you asked the question. To actually get the answer, You've got to be non-judgmental and delete all your past decisions. This is why it says in the Bible that you'll only go through the gates to heaven as a child. With a childlike mind, not being childish, but as a child. A child hasn't made these decisions, a child hasn't made these judgments. You tell a child there's a tooth fairy, there's an Easter bunny, there's a Father Christmas, They'll believe it. They also believe that there's a bogeyman under the bed. They're easily scared. They're easily pleased. They're very suggestible. They're in a brainwave called Alpha, clinically. You're not, as an adult, from the age of nine in girls and 11 in boys, you develop a beta brainwave. Critical thinking, judgmental thinking girls are more mature, they get it at nine, sometimes seven. About two year difference between males and females. And with that critical mind, you're judgmental, you start to challenge, you start to realize that there is no Father Christmas, it was your parents or whoever bought you presents. <laughs> and you become less superstitious and more analytical and judgmental and left brained. You get out your right brain that produces alpha waves and you get into left brain which is logic male brain which produces beta, beta and gamma waves. Meditation puts you back into childlike mind. But what you've also got to do is you've got to stop accessing past files. Your past files are the decisions that you made in the past which hinder you in the now and stop you moving forward into a new you. I'll say that again. Your decisions in the past stick you, keep you, in what psychologists call a homeostasis. You stay where you are. I've had clients that come to me and they want to lose weight 
and I say to them, start eating healthy. Well, how do you mean? Say, well, you know, you can have the occasional treat, but make it an occasional treat. Don't make it your staple diet. You know, nothing is taboo. You can have anything that you fancy, but don't give in to your temptations all the time. Eat some salad, eat some grains, eat some pulses, eat some raw food, eat some fresh food, eat some energy giving, healthy, nutritious, tasty food. But, don't always go for a takeaway because it's easy. And quite often clients of mine will say, oh, I can't eat salad, I don't like, I don't like tomatoes. And they pull a face, very childlike face, very childish response. And I know that they made that decision that they don't like tomatoes as a child. And when I asked them the question, why don't you like tomatoes? Rough road here, so the camera's shaking, the apologies, but can stick with me. When you're listening to these, all you have to do is listen. You know, any of these videos that I produce for you, you don't have to watch. If you're busy and you think, I haven't got 20 minutes to watch Mike Garner, you don't have to watch Mike Garner, you can listen to it. You can be doing the dishes or walking the dog. You could be Bluetoothing this in the car and listen to me when you're driving to work. Have you thought about that? So I just thought I'd say that. <laughs> don't miss these audios, these tutorials, because you think you've got to watch them. You don't just listen, you don't have to see me. Just follow the dialogue. And they made that decision when they were a child. They probably cut into a tomato, bit into a tomato. It was all squelchy. Uh, the road's improved now. It was all squelchy and they went, <clears throat> felt like that. And that was the expression on the lady's face that I suggested that she ate tomato sandwiches. Beautiful, beautiful tomato sandwiches. Cheese on toast with tomato. Something like that. Far better than a McDonald's. Far better than a KFC. And don't get me wrong, I love a McDonald's and a KFC, but I don't live on them. So, I said to her, I said, well, let me give you an idea, which was a new suggestion. Thankfully, she accepted this. And the idea was, is that you put the tomatoes in the fridge and when you cut into them, they're nice and cool and solid. And, um, she came back to the next session and said, I did that, Mike, and actually, you're absolutely right. I really enjoy lettuce sandwiches. The lettuce is really good to help you sleep. Got loads of iron, particularly for organic. And, you know, you can, there's lots of lovely salad dressings. You know, you don't have to think that salads and healthy food is bland. I eat lots of healthy food and fruits. And trust me, I love tasty food. And I'm not, you know, <laughs> zero fat body type I'm a chunky monkey but I'm healthy you know I'm not obese I'm not fat um, I've had challenges like you know I've had a mechanical spinal problem that's nothing to do with my health that's nothing to do with eating poorly it was an injury an industrial injury and it was the medication from that industrial injury that I was on for 13 years morphine actually which is why I became a pain control specialist to get off morphine. Morphine wrecked my veins. Like if you put on warfarin, you'll die on warfarin. Well, it'll shorten your life. And there's lots of natural homeopathic alternatives to warfarin and um, statins and all these medications that you'll be put on. And actually, if you meditate, you won't need to medicate so much because your absorption of the toxins or the medicines is more effective in your body. Anyway, I digress. So with that new suggestion, that new idea that she adopted, and she had to adopt it, she could have rejected it and there would have been no change in her opinion. But having been open-minded, and I did suggest it to her in hypnosis, as well as the conversation. She started to enjoy salads, changed her mind, lost weight, changed her life. Now, had she run the old meme, and that's what it's called, the old thought, it's a meme, it's an electrical file of mind, there would have been no change. For you to 
get the law of attraction to work for you, you've got to take action, purposeful action. You've got to be disciplined and be t determined. And you've got to make some new decisions based on open-minded thinking. If you've got what I call rigor mortis of the attitudes, in other words, you're rigid in your thinking, you won't change. And the whole purpose of this particular presentation is to tell you that as you're doing your meditation, you've got to ask the question because the universe is listening. But the reason why you think you're not getting any answers is because you're missing them, because you're in judgment, because of all past thinking. If you're watching this as I'm presenting it, which is the second week in February, start today, February, 2022 or whenever you're watching this wherever you're watching this you can contact me for an update start to look at your rigor mortis of the attitudes your rigor mortis of the thoughts your old memes and delete them you cannot run the latest update of any app or any software program if you've still got the old one on your computer when they give you an update they delete the old one and install the new one and all these things I'm telling you you're not going to act upon them they're not going to create the change that I've enjoyed in my life and you want in your life if you're hanging on to your old beliefs you're either all in or it's not going to work so on this Sunday or wherever you view this this particular week second week in February just delete all your old files if you want me to help you with that in a one-to-one -one, I will but I'm always going to give you free guidance all this is free but if we have a session there's a fee but I'm very cheap <laughs> and I will help you and you'll get a lot from me for free even though there will be a small fee which is I raise money for charity well, let me just say this, that meditation is wonderful and the colour therapy and the energy work is wonderful. But you've got to become a new person. And because we live a thought life, you've got to have new thoughts. So I want you to witness this week and this February, the old you, know who you were and what you believed and start to shift your belief system. You've got to almost like create a new creed, a new affidavit, a new contract with yourself, that you're open-minded and you're going to be more playful, more childlike. And if you practice accessing alpha in meditation, the nugget of wisdom is when you come out of meditation, don't go back to normal. <laughs> No good coming for hypnosis. I could get you in hypnosis, a charity stage show, or a one-to-one -one hypnotherapy session to feel epic online or in my clinic. But if you're feeling powerful, positive, and peaceful in the session, and then you go out, and the first time somebody cuts you up in traffic, you start effing and blinding and go back to your old ways or you start going back into your old judgments. Mel Chauvin is big. Women are rubbish drivers. <laughs> All that sort of stuff. You know, I'm presenting now and it's a bumpy road and I'm laughing at it. I mean, this could really piss me off because I don't want the camera to be shaking and it is shaking, but I'm laughing at it. I don't do pissed off anything like I used to. I don't do anger anything like I used to. Trust me, I get pissed off, I get frustrated, I get anger, angry. But you'd hardly know. Because the 2022 model of Mike Garner, Mr. Mike Garner, Michael Garner, me, is a more refined, in control model than last year. And I'm certainly a totally different fella than I was 20 years ago and 30 years ago. And as I said at the beginning, I don't bullshit and I don't suffer fools. But if you bullshitted to me 20, 30 years ago, feel my wrath <laughs> I'd uh, put you in your place I just walk away now because I don't want any conflict I don't want any argument you're not going to say anything to me do anything to me 
that changes my peace of mind, takes away my positivity, or depletes my power. Those are the decisions that I've made. I want you to make some new decisions for yourself, become a, a new version of yourself, an updated version of yourself, delete the old you so that you can accept some new files, some new memes, and live some new themes. The theme of your life should be loving, happy, powerful, positive, fulfilling, exciting, sexy. Should be living a life of abundance. And if you're not, it's your fault. You can change, but you've got to allow yourself to change. You've got to give yourself permission to change. And you won't because your mind's full of the old you. Go into meditation with everything that I'm teaching for free on Mr. GTV. Get the crystals, do the crystal development, which is started and more to come, lots more to come. The magic, we haven't even got into it yet. We're just doing basics. So if you're not doing it, never ever say nobody give you the opportunity to have a wonderful, magical life, because I'm giving you that for free on Mr. GTV. Me, my G. You've got no excuse now, ever, to suffer I'm not saying that bad things won't happen but suffering's a choice like being pissed off is a choice and I just don't do it being angry is a choice I just don't do it if I have to use anger to convey a point or to raise the energy in a situation in a conflict so that I can control it then I'll use anger but anger doesn't use me I can go into judgment, but I'm not judgmental. I am God, the grand organizing designer, God, G-O-D, you are God. Design your life, delete the past, let's install some positive new stuff, and let's have amazing February and an amazing 2022. Even though the world is shit, you can shift. You can put an F in shit, S-H-I-T shit, put an F in it, S-H-I-F-T, and you can shift. You'll only do it if you get on board this journey. And don't forget, it's all for free. If you want a one-to-one, -one, there's a fee. But everything that I'm giving you for free is enough to be getting on with for now. And trust me, the world is magical. Your life is magical. Embrace the magic, be powerful, enjoy your mind. And stop being so serious. Stop being so, what the world would call, mature. You'll only get through the pearly gates as a child. It tells you that in the Bible. So play like a child, think like a child, be innocent like a child, remove all your contamination, delete your adult files that are complete bullshit, because that's what you've been told by a world that wants to control you. Take control of yourself. Be the grand organising designer and um, check back for more from me, Mr G, because there's plenty more to come, and trust me, we've only just got started. Take care, be powerful. God bless. Love you all.